Let's see if we can get down in there. Got some light in there, but anyway, it's pretty bad. That's one run of tap water. That's the worst yet. <laughs> one run, and it, I clean it with the, the solution every time, and it is a crystal clean. There's not a bit of crud in it when I start. It's just silver and shiny and pretty as it can be. And uh, this is after one run. That is really disturbing there. Okay, so. As I just cleaned it out see how clean it is in there okay because on my last one uh, that I did where I did the distilled store-bought water I had a commenter because that water even the store-bought left a little bit of soot behind I mean it was you know pretty good I mean I was pleased with the, the results from it because of you know felt like that some people could buy that would be the next best thing to this, I guess uh, he misunderstood what I was saying, but that was my point. But he said, uh, he or she said that uh, that soot could be uh, left over from the last run. No, no, no. See, I, I clean this thing every single, every single time uh, I use it. And it always looks like that right there. This is what I put in it, some kind of, some kind of acid product in here. This is the cleaner right here, see, okay. So, I mean, it's, it's really strong stuff because this stuff gets so corroded down here that you can't get it off. And I'll have to pour vinegar in with this to clean it. I mean, it's some stubborn stuff. Without those, the vinegar in this, you, you can't get it out, period. It don't come out. Uh, that's, I guess, that fluoride that, that gets down in there. So that's, that's how clean it is when I get done. And uh, it's always like that before I run any uh, water through it. So, the person that left the comment, I just want to make it clear, it's always clean when I start. So that store-bought distilled water did leave a little bit behind, but overall it was pretty good, okay? And uh, this uh, filtered water, it's not quite as good as the distilled store-bought water, okay? But, I would say, this has got a five-stage filter, I would say it's the third. My number one choice is straight home brew. Number two would be the distilled from the store. Number three would be the zero five stage filters. And this is more um, accessible to folks, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm gonna pour and run this through the distiller and see how much it leaves behind, okay? How much soot it leaves behind. So we'll just pour that. Actually, I done poured one in here. It takes two of these to fill this tank up. Actually, a little bit more than two, but um, we're gonna run it through, and we're gonna see what the tank looks like when we get finished with it. Okay. So uh, with that, just put the top on it and get her rolling. All right. And we'll check back, and see how it looks. Okay. I'm gonna leave the link if I can find it in the description of a gentleman I watched a video where he did a test of the bottled waters like Aquafina and uh, all the different ones, right? And he did the pH test in which I'm not that scientific. I just show you what crud is left behind, which to me is, uh, you know, pretty general. And uh, um, the tap water is my point, is you just cannot drink that tap water. Nobody should be drinking that tap water. I mean, if you just smelt this tank alone after it runs a one tank full, it'll knock you down. Smell, oh, it's, it is raunchy. Um, now, the distilled water from the store wasn't, it wasn't like that. And it didn't leave the brown water in the bottom. This picture here that we're filtering, uh, we're gonna distill, that has a five stage filter, it, we'll see what it does. We'll see if it has the smell. And stuff but but I'm gonna leave a link in the description if I can find this video I've seen before where he goes through and shows you the pH balances of each of the waters like the ones you get at the store uh, Aquafina and all the different brands and he does the pH test on each one of them and uh, if you're interested in drinking clean water without the toxins in it um, that's uh, a good video to watch because if you grab one off the shelf, um, I think Aquafina was uh, the one that I thought was uh, 
had the best results because uh, some of them you just don't want. Some of them that are more expensive, uh, you they're not as good as the lesser expensive ones. So you might want to watch that video um, if this is something that interests you. And uh, I make this video because I think this, uh, you know, your body is made up of mostly water. Water is important, and uh, I wish I'd have known what I've been drinking out of that tap all these years, although I've been filtering it for a long time. But even filtering is uh, not 100%. But uh, I do believe that this uh, zero five stage filter is probably the best you can get for the money. It's, it's got a big, nice five stage filter. And I just replaced this filter, so it's new. So whatever comes out of here can't be blamed on the filter being dirty because uh, it's new. So we'll see what it does. Uh, we'll check the results when it gets done and come back and I'll share it with you guys. Okay, we just got done running. Zero water. And we're going to see what the tank looks like. Moment of proof. Alright, the big reveal. Let's see here. Turn them off. Alright. Just let it right there in the sink for now. Whoa. I tell you what. That's more than I wanted to say. But. not real bad. I still think the zero is the best for the money. Can you see it in there? The stuff that's stuck to the bottom. The water's not dirty though, dark like. Let me see if I can get the light on it. There it is. See the stuff on the bottom? I, I, I'm assuming that's probably fluoride mixed with other junk, but um, it's way better than the tap water is but that's it that's it that's it you guys so I would say the zero water pitcher does a pretty good job although there is it's not satisfying for me because I don't even I don't even want that as uh that's still stuff that gets in your body but I have to say if I didn't have anything else I'd, I'd use the Zero. I'm not affiliated with the Zero or Mega Home, by the way. I'm just putting these videos out there because I think water is important in what you put in your body. And uh, I know since I've been drinking this distilled water, I've seen some changes. It's important because it's real and true and noticeable. Not only me, my mom, she noticed the same thing. We're both drinking distilled water. Oh, and by the way, on the last video I did where I was comparing the distilled store bar, which uh, um, I had one commenter that I guess misunderstood what the video was actually showing. I was showing in that video that the distilled water, the store bought distilled water was the the next best thing to, do, to you know, distilling it yourself. Um, also, I don't know how it happened, but I said, I think on the video I said four. I don't know why I would have said four, because I know good and well I only put two teaspoons of these, but I said four. And when I, when I heard that back, I thought, well, why, why did I say four? But, you know, man, did I do that. No. Anyway, um, one to two. Uh, I usually just put one and a half around about, you know, I'll just fill up a teaspoon and squirt over. But it's the mineral solution, the concentrated stuff that adds the minerals back to the water. So, that, I thought that's important to point out because I wouldn't want anybody to put four teaspoons of that. And I did uh, put it in the description of the last video uh, to correct that error without having to redo the whole video. So, um, with that, I hope that helps you guys. It's the Zero Water Pitcher. Again, not affiliated, but it's a five-stage filter. And, it, you know, for the average consumer, if you can't do this, and you can't, you know, buy distilled water. Um, I mean, I'm not, I, that's what I would do. I'm saying I shouldn't direct people to do anything. I'm just telling you that by my experience and what I've learned from testing this stuff out, my choice is distilled water first, like this. Second choice is distilled water from the store. And then my third choice is this. So that's uh, how I put those in order, okay?
Thank you guys for watching and I uh, hope this helps.